Do I have any more coffee in this? Nope. Guess this is just a prop today. Hello my lovely beans and welcome back to another sit down Sunday, the day of the week where we take a break from talking about all the nerdy and geeky stuff that we love and we have a more real conversation. So this past week I took a totally unexpected, unplanned break from the internet. I went into the week with the best of intentions. I actually knew exactly what videos I was going to make for the week. However, I realized very quickly that I was completely exhausted and totally burnt out. Which is why I bet you've guessed it from the title of this video, today we are talking about burning yourself out. This is one of my not so great traits. This happens to me about every couple of months or so. And what's weird about it is it never happens when I think it's gonna happen, you know? Like if this had happened in December when I was making a video every single day, I would have understood that. But this past month has not been that busy for me. Or was it? See, I've realized that every couple of months I burn myself out because I'll have a whole month where I'm just basically running on exhilaration. I'm running on the fact that I know I gotta get stuff done and so I get it done and then in the months where it's just my normal busyness that's when my body catches up to me and it's like oh no 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 we tired boo and it's in those less busy months that I tend to overload myself on my day-to-day -day expectations I have less to do so I think about more I can do instead of you know like taking a minute and relaxing and this unfortunately tends to result in an unhappy Kristen if you create a never-ending list of things to do then you're never gonna feel the satisfaction of finishing that list and usually if you reach the point of just being totally burnt out, it means that there's also some sort of other dysfunction in your life happening. Like being unhappy at your job, or maybe not having things run well in your relationship. Don't worry, boyfriend and I are fine. But usually it's a lot of little things stemming in that cause this big explosion where you suddenly need to take a week off of doing anything creative and relax. And for me, it's hard because I've been this way for a bunch of years now. Every couple of months, this systematically happens to me. So how can we micromanage that? How can we prevent it from happening. I think while it might seem obvious, you have to start working on one thing at a time. If you're unhappy at your job, start trying to look somewhere else or fix the problem that's making you unhappy at your job if it's something specific. If you're unhappy with the way that you look and you're guilting yourself into feeling bad about it, start to cook meals for yourself, start to go to the gym, make small changes that will affect you in the long run. Because usually getting burnt out means that your routine hasn't been working, right? Whatever has been going on has been going on for a while and it's caused your body to like literally manifest all of this stuff. One of the biggest stressors for me, and I talked about it a lot in my How to Become a Planner Addict video, is scheduling. Scheduling for me, I never feel like there is enough time in the day, and the problem is there's never going to be enough time in the day. But clearly, that is reflective of I'm not setting myself like actual attainable goals. I can't achieve as much as I want to achieve every single day. So for me, I have to start prioritizing and shortening that list and being okay with doing that. I hate to say it, but I'm a workaholic and a busy body guys I really am I put a lot of weight on these shoulders and they're slowly giving me a hunchback so I'm challenging you guys if you are feeling burnt out start to self-reflect on what is really making you unhappy what is making you exhausted and how can you fix that a bit because while it's livable to do that I've been doing it for a couple years now I can tell you that it's not the healthy way to go about it it really isn't and if you're somebody that this happens to who is starting to get it under control leave in the comments how you think people can work on it what are your suggestions I would love to hear them this literally happened to me this past week. It's the reason why I didn't make any videos. Everything was too overwhelming. I found myself just totally feeling feeling so overwhelmed that I had so much to do that I didn't get any of it done. And that accomplishes nothing and makes no one feel good. If you like this video, it helps me out a lot if you hit that like button and share this video with a friend. Maybe there's somebody in your life who you've noticed tends to get exhausted every couple of months. Share this video with them. Maybe it'll help. And if you want to make this relationship YouTube official, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell next to it so that you turn on notifications so you'll know when I do things like making a new video or going live because I do a live stream every single weekend. And finally, if you want to find me on other social media, I'm at Shut Up Kristen everywhere and I will see you in my next video. Bye!